Hi everyone, it's Giselle with another message for today and this one addresses the question of why do we need to experience so much sadness and heartache on this twin flame journey? And the reason for that is that this journey is not one of complacency. It is one of growth, transformation and to make you become more of the true you that you were meant to become. And you are not able to become this greatest version of yourself if you were being, you know, um, protected, sheltered from the events that would make you the greatest version of yourself. People who face no adversity at all, who seemingly have it easy, have a lot of boredom and a lot of inner conflict with who they are, with what is this life all about, often feeling complacent, not finding deeper meanings behind things and becoming codependent upon others to receive validation and without others it just feels like there's nothing for them they constantly need other people to focus upon because within themselves they are not enough they cannot accomplish enough they don't feel what they have to offer is sufficient and before we came into this incarnation, we already decided that we were going to be great. There's a running theme between all of my clients. And what they say to me is, I have always known that I was destined for great things. I may not have known what those things were, but one thing I was sure of is that I am destined for greatness. And this is a running theme between all twin flames. I felt this within myself too, and this is why I have had to experience many painful, harrowing events throughout my life, not only for myself and my personal growth, but also because I felt deep down that I was going to be a leader in a way, an example for others, and I cannot be that example if I'm just reading about these things. Having experienced real things has made it more possible for me to develop true compassion. You know, reading about something is not the same as experiencing it, because words don't teach, and... As much as you may want to read something, it, it doesn't, you know, it just doesn't give you the same appreciation, understanding and therefore ability to really help others. Um, this kind of reminds me of my uh, course last year at uni. We had a chapter about biopsies and about the process of how it goes and... Um, the difficulties that pain and people, you know, the struggles that they go through and how it affects them on a psychological level and the type of help that they may need because of the effects of these biopsies and the events leading up to needing to have those taken. And had I solely read about that procedure, I, I would have felt to an extent the pain and the difficulty that people go through, but... Having had that experience myself, funnily enough, during the same year that I was learning about them, has opened up a whole different world to me. I can fully, fully, fully empathise with those who are having to go through it, because I had to go through it myself. Now that I know what that procedure entails, and the difficulties, and the pain, and the anxiety that you go through just leading up to those events, you know, it's definitely not the same as just reading about it. I feel that just reading about it would have given me only a 25% insight into how difficult these things can be. But then having experienced it myself, 
I received the full 100% experience of that. So, you may ask yourself at times, why am I having to go through so much difficulty? But it is often to push you to be the best version of yourself. I know that if I hadn't gone through the events that I have gone through, I could only partially empathise with people and not help them to the extent that I am able and have been able to help them now. If I was sheltered from bad relationships, from abuse and from um, very dangerous circumstances, then people who really need me at this time, I wouldn't really be able to tell them what to do, what they can expect to happen and really <sighs> prep them for the strength that they are going to need to get themselves out of that situation. Because again, words don't teach and unless you experience something yourself, it's going to be very hard to put yourself in to the shoes of the things that you're going to be faced with, with other people that you're wanting to help. I'm not saying that everyone in this journey needs to be a teacher of some sort the way that I'm doing it, but I know that the events that you're going through are preparing you for greater things, for more. You know, it's like going into a relationship, asking the universe, universe, please give me a relationship, but then not defining what it is exactly that you're wanting, being a little bit vague, like, oh, I'd like someone who is over six foot tall and someone who, I don't know, is athletically built and enjoys the same foods as me. That's very vague. <laughs> And that will not get you, certainly not if you've grown in the way that you are expected to during this journey, you are not going to be emotionally, mentally, spiritually compatible with this person. Because if that's all you've asked for, you know, it's not going to work. So this sadness that you may perceive is actually to help you become more of who you truly are meant to be, of who you've contractually signed up to be, to align more with your higher self, and then also to experience life to its fullest. You didn't come here to live a half-life. You didn't come here to experience things only 50%. You have come here to realize your potential as a creator, co-creating with the divine, the life of your dreams that includes your love life and you can't make a diamond without any pressure and that is what you are you are a diamond you are a wonderful human being who's come here to spread love across the world and you cannot spread this love if you don't experience the contrast it would be like you living in a place where there's always sunlight and never darkness how do you know what time of day it is? How would you know when you are happy that the sun is out because the sun's always out? We would need to experience the darkness or the contrast in order to appreciate the light, in order to be very clear about what it is that we want and define these things with precision and accuracy. Because if we're just going to be vague, then we're just going to get vague things. We're just going to get People in our lives who were just kind of what we wanted, but not really. And what's the point in that? The more negative or what we perceive to be negative events that we experience, the more that we get clear about what it is that we truly want and the more appreciation we do have for the things that we achieve, the more that we also then realize that we are these amazing creators and we can create the life of our dreams. So if you're feeling a little sad right now, it's going to be okay. It's going to be fine and realize that this is only temporary and that you will soon come back into the light and that it's helping you to redefine much more strongly what it is that you're wanting and being very clear about your desires and your dreams and so you don't receive just vague things that 
kind of resemble what it is that you want, but not really. It's to avoid that kind of complacent living. And you know that you came here to have so much more. You can feel it in your heart. So dare to be bold. Dare to take life just for everything that it can give you. Face it head on and appreciate the dark patches so that you can come back into the light and fully immerse yourself in that amazing sunlight. I hope that this message has helped you and if you would like to connect with me, all my details are in the link. Thank you all so very much for watching and have a beautiful day. Namaste.